arbitrary line. And well, so then I'm, what we're I'm really wrangling over is not whether uh, abortion should happen or not, but where it. the line gets drawn. <clears throat> okay, quickly, caller, because i got a bunch of other callers I want to get to. Well, I'm sorry to say uh, I'm very disappointed. Okay. Uh, you, you guys have a very narrow view of, of things. Okay, thank you. And uh, that, that's such a strange opinion. I, I think, yeah, I think his view I'm, is I'm was a little bit narrower than ours. I'm a narrow but... opinion when I'm talking about, you know, that, that, that we have to look at the entire question, the whole question, yeah. right? That's not a narrow view. That's an encompassing view, you know, and it right. all became much more complicated since Dolly the Sheep. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Because now if you take the, the, uh, the Catholic argument that even a sperm is a life, right? You can't be, you know, wasting those. You can't be spilling those on the ground like Onan did. Mm -hmm. Even though God didn't kill Onan for spilling his seed, God killed Onan for not impregnating his, uh, his, his deceased brother's wife because mm -hmm. God wanted a baby to happen. Um, uh, since Dolly the Sheep, every cell in your body potentially could be another life. You know, you take those things out and you put them in an in a existing uh, egg cell and you can get another human being out of them through cloning now, okay? What do we do about that? You know, are you, are you killing lies if you trim your fingernails? I'm not sure if there's active DNA in fingernails, but get, you get my point, right? You have an appendix. Get your appendix out. Are you, are you giving up a life? I don't know. I mean, that's a real issue. We're going to have to look at that. All right. Let's go on down to Lisa. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. Um, I was calling, and, and I just have to, to preface by saying I did go through a period in my life where I considered myself to be an atheist. All right. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and I'm interested in, in the homosexual question that you're discussing this morning. Okay. Um, I can say that I'm not religious. Uh, I am what I consider to be a spiritual person, but mm -hmm. I, I hear you like referencing the Bible and stuff like that, and it's it's a fine book. I mean, yeah. Fine mean by fine. Fiction. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's an interesting book. <coughs> I, I've, I've read it, and it's got some interesting points. I do agree with you on the on the point that um, you know you, it's very easy to read the Old Testament and say, my God, he's he's pretty cruel. Why would you ever want to? Even the New Testament has a right. Lot of well, exactly. You know, and and even the I'm not sure how to pronounce it right, but the Bhagavad Gita. You know, I, I've read some from the from the Gita, and mm. and that's very confusing to me too. But and I don't know. I, I'm interested so, in your show. It's it's fascinating to me. Well, please come down and meet us in person. Uh, once we're done here, we she's not, she's not an atheist, dude. And, uh, she, she well, not I, anymore. But I, you know what? In my personal I, opinion, and it is only that. Ray I think it is, it is excellent for a person to 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 come to that point in your life where you're questioning God and you say, yeah. "Is it a joke or what? Is it for real or no, what?" No, I wasn't laughing at you. I was getting really laughing. I was laughing at Jeff. Invite, it's so easy, and, I think, to for for <laughs> humans to say, oh, well, if I can only hang it up on God, then it'll be so much easier, right, right, you know, right. but, but I think no, it's we, an important stage in human, you know, uh, for lack of a better word right now, spirituality, because if you don't ever question it, then how do you know it's real? Yeah. I think well, there's so faith, many people faith. that just take Christianity as, a, you know, oh, well, God exists, check. You know, how can you yeah. say you have faith in that if you've never questioned it, if you've never really looked at it and turned it upside down and say, well, how did that happen? Yeah. Why did he do that? But see, a lot of people tell you that's exactly what faith is, is, is you know, actively not questioning it. Well, I think you do need to actively question it. I don't think God's going to punish you. Over. I don't think God's going to punish you at all for for somebody <laughs> for somebody turning it upside down and looking at it. I think that's exactly the yeah. point. Okay. That's what makes um, consciousness and spirituality real. Can I, can I ask you a question real quick? Sure. What you you said that you consider yourself a spiritual person. I what do, what do you mean by that? Good question. That's a good question. I mean that for me, I, I don't I don't know that the word God is is um, is accurate because there's so many definitions and ideas of what God is. To me, it's just consciousness and you know real consciousness. So, what is um, real consciousness? The universe as a consciousness? I, I don't I don't understand. Do you do you think there's there is such a thing as supernatural stuff what happening? What do you mean by supernatural? You know, like things floating through the air or something? Uh, like, Gee, I don't. <laughs> you're yeah, dead, I don't understand. Your dead grandmother. Good though. question. We're not sure, because we're not sure what other people mean. Well, yeah. different people mean different things by that. I'm just curious, do you believe if consciousness, can it be outside the brain? Can it be floating around the universe? Well, I think, think my brain. <laughs> I think my consciousness is in my brain, and I consider that to be very real. Okay. Oh, well, and we're I don't, there. We're, and we I don't in that think too. that homosexuals will fry. Okay. And I'm not gay, but I don't think that homosexuality is, is wrong, nor do I think they will fry. Okay. And I don't think... Yeah. 
that God's going to punish homosexuals okay. Okay. in yeah. any way. Okay. Well, thanks you, for your you call. You sound pretty cool. Go. And, right, and we're you. being reminded by the floor manager that, in fact, the bagel shop meeting is perfectly open to anybody who's atheist friendly. So go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we're almost out of time, so I want to try and see oh, that. Oh, well, I've got to do another. Uh, uh, Sheila? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, did Our you call favorite. back? Did we lose you? Yeah. Okay, we've right. got two and a half minutes quickly. You know me, Ray. Oh, I'm, oh, Sheila, hi. Yeah, I'm how sorry. Are you? I hadn't <laughs> talked to you in a while. How are you doing? Pretty good. Hey, I do have an opinion, though, just sure. really quick and fast. Um, we all know, how many times has the Bible been rewritten? Oh, wow. Hundreds and hundreds of times. We Everybody don't all knows. know that. A lot of people, you know, make a real effort not to know that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's a simple fact, you yeah. know, and things get changed, words get changed, people don't understand it, so they change it to a word that everybody understands. When we're talking about, um, oh, we have this God who hates uh, uh, gays and all everything like that, that's man's opinion. That's man saying, okay, exactly. it's okay to kill because it's wrong. Well, how many mistakes have we made in life? Tons of them, thousands of mistakes. It's just another excuse. Well, this person's bad, so this person's going to hell. I disagree when, when people say, oh, because you're gay or because you made a mistake, you're going to hell. I don't agree with that. Yeah. I, so are you, are you saying that, that we shouldn't say that the Bible says exactly that because the Bible's been rewritten and maybe it didn't mean that? I, I think man's choice a lot of times. How many, how many murderers out there say, oh, God told me to kill somebody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens all the time. It's an excuse. The it's Bible is an, an excuse. excuse to hate somebody. It's I an agree. Excuse. Okay. We agree on that. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that was my simple opinion. So when people are saying, well, uh, I, I believe in a loving God, but yet it's okay to kill people, I don't agree with that. If, yeah. if you're saying that no one should use the Bible as an excuse to do things that are wrong, we, I think we'd agree with you. That, that's my opinion. I mean, okay. I, I believe in God, but I don't believe that he says that, okay, it's okay to go kill somebody. That's, that's man's bull crap. Right. It, okay, like Reverend Paul says, <laughs> do the right thing. That's it. Everybody makes yeah. mistakes. If that, if that was the case, we'd all go to hell. Thanks, Sheila. You're welcome. You have a great week. Thank I'll you. call you. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, do it soon because I, I'm fixing to move. Oh, okay. Sure thing. Okay, bye. Bye. A friend of mine I hadn't talked to in weeks. Okay. Uh, we're down to 30 seconds. Rick, Lisa, any, uh, one's on the phone. I'm sorry we're not going to be able to get to you. Our voicemail is 371 -2911. Feel free to give us a call and give and me your comment. Come on down to the bagel shop. I got a ton of news, and I'm just going to read it to the group. Because I didn't get near, nearly through it. So can I do the love thing there, Vic? Uh, Vic, do the uh, love thing. Uh, uh, not in the what is the love thing?